Welcome back to the channel. I'm really glad you're here. Let me give a shout out to the more than 2,000 new subscribers who have joined us in just the past few weeks. I can't thank you enough for that. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. And if you're not familiar with what subscribing to a YouTube channel means, it doesn't cost anything. It's just a way for you to stay connected with that channel. And if you click the little notification bell and make it turn gray, you'll receive a notification whenever I put out a new video. So thanks again for joining us. Today I want to talk about my favorite attachment for my front end loader, and that is the grapple. When I bought my Kubota B2601 compact tractor last year, there were a few attachments that I knew I had to have. One, of course, is the front end loader attachment. You can buy a tractor without a front end loader, uh, but my guess is that most of them today, at least compact and subcompact tractors, are sold with a front end loader. So that was a must have for me. I quickly learned by doing a little bit of research about the grapple. I'll be honest, I didn't really know what a grapple was um, before I started researching this tractor. I was watching uh, some other channels and I saw folks picking up logs and branches with this claw and I thought, what in the world is that? And turns out it's a grapple. So in order to have a grapple, there's a couple things that you need. First of all, you want to have a skid steer quick attach, and by having that, you can easily remove your bucket and then put the grapple in place. The squid, squid steer, squidward. The skid steer type quick attach is pretty universal. You, you see that on Kubotas, I think it's optional, but you do see it on Kubotas, you see it on several other manufacturers. I know that John Deere has their own quick attach, uh, so you can buy attachments for that as well. It's more of a proprietary system. So what I like about the skid steer type is that it's more universal. You can pick up attachments a lot more easily. Uh, they're much more easily or readily available. So you'll need that because you can't unpin the bucket and pin the grapple on. Uh, maybe you can, but without a quick attach, I imagine that would be a bit of a hassle. The other thing you need for a grapple is a third function valve. If you watched my video number 29, which thank you for that because I didn't expect that video to be so popular, um, I talk about the functions of the front end loader. And a front end loader has two sets of cylinders. It has a set of cylinders that raises and lowers the loader and a second set of cylinders that curls and tilts the bucket. The third function valve allows you to control a third set of cylinders. And that grapple uses uh, a set of hydraulics, either one cylinder or two cylinders, to open and close the grapple. So you'll have to have that. It's an added expense. It's about eight or nine hundred dollars to have installed on your tractor, but you can't operate the grapple without that. The third function valve on this tractor is an electronic valve rather than a mechanical valve. So uh, what it does basically is it diverts the hydraulic fluid from one of the other two functions to the grapple. So with my tractor, I can be tilting and curling and closing the grapple at the same time but I can't raise the loader and operate the grapple at the same time. If I try and raise the loader and close the grapple, the loader stops. Or if I try and lower the loader and close the grapple or open the grapple, the lowering stops. It just can't do both of those functions at the same time. You kind of learn to work around that. It's a, it's a bit of a hassle because sometimes you'd like to be uh, doing those two motions at the same time. There is so much functionality added to your front end loader with a grapple. A bucket is obviously extremely handy for moving dirt, for leveling dirt, uh, all types of operations of moving piles of things, mulch, dirt, stone, sand, anything. Um, another popular attachment are pallet forks, which I don't have yet. I think I'm going to get them at some point, but I can see where they're very handy too for moving things around your property. But the grapple is great because you can hook chains to it, you can grab just about anything with it. I've moved uh, logs around. I've moved old pieces of wooden furniture. It's great if you cut up piles of brush and you want to move those piles of brush either to one central pile for burning or for chipping. You can just drive right in, clamp on that pile of brush, and move it around. So it's really a fun thing to have. And I'm going to show you a few different operations that I do with it. It's a little bit of a rainy day here in the Northeast. Yesterday I had the air conditioning on in the house and today we're kind of bundled up. So that's fall for you. 
Anyway, let's go hook it up because right now I've got the bucket on, so we'll remove the bucket and I'll show you how the grapple hooks up. The skid steer coupler is very easy to detach your implements. Now, one thing you want to do is make sure your bucket is curled back a little bit so that when you release the attachment, it doesn't tilt forward. You want to keep your feet clear, and it's very easy just to lift these up. Good to stand off to the side. And now it's released. When I tilt this bucket forward, you'll see where it curls out, and I can release the bucket. How easy was that, right? Now that the bucket's off, I can show you how this quick attach works. Uh, it's very simple. It's just a big pin that drops down. The bucket or the attachment hangs off the top. There's an angled piece here. Hangs off the top. The bottom rocks into place. There's some holes in the bottom. And then these big pins lock in when you push the levers down. I'll show you that again. By the way, be sure to get yourself a good pair of work gloves. Tractors are dirty, a lot of sharp edges, and it's just a good practice to have good leather gloves. I really like these yellow deerskin gloves. They've always been my favorite because they're very soft and they're very durable. They do cost more, but I like them a lot. Also know that I am an Amazon, what do you call it, an Amazon affiliate, Amazon associate. Uh, so I'll post a link in the description to these gloves, maybe some other products that I use. It's a great way for you to support the channel. Uh, if you click on those links and you make a purchase, it doesn't cost you any more, but it does help the channel with a little bit of commission. You'll see that the grapple has a set of feet that help it to stand upright when it's not attached to your tractor. I've got the tractor pulled up with the skid steer quick attach lined up. It's tilted forward slightly. And when I pull up, it will go into these slots. The angle of the quick attach will line up with this angle, and that's what hooks it. And then when I curl back, these slots will line up with those pins that I just showed you recently. So we'll hook that up, and then there are some hydraulic lines that have to be hooked up as well. And it's locked in just that easy. Now adding the third function adds this extra set of hydraulic couplers to the front and then we'll hook some lines to it. But there's something you need to do before you hook those lines up. Before connecting or disconnecting any hydraulic lines, you wanna make sure there's no pressure on the hydraulic system. With the third function valve, which again is electronic, you wanna just turn your key on, turn on the third function, which is just a switch, and then just hit the buttons, the open and close buttons, a couple times, and that releases any pressure that might be in the system. So now that I've ensured there's no pressure on the hydraulic system, I can hook up these two hydraulic hoses that go to the grapple. The other thing I do is take a rag and just make sure I wipe down these fittings because dirt can get inside. Look inside, make sure they look clean. If you see anything in there, make sure you clean that out. Well, 
Well, that's it. It's that easy to hook up. After you've hooked it up, you want to start the tractor, kind of run through the hydraulics to get any air out of the lines and make sure everything's functioning properly. One thing I wanted to mention with any front end loader, whether it's the bucket or the grapple, it's so important to have ballast or weight on the back end of the tractor to balance out the load if you're picking up something heavy. Now, I had my tires filled with bio ballast, uh, which adds a lot of weight to the tractor. I also usually have a grater box on the back when I'm using the loader. Today I've got the finish mower back there, which weighs a lot. Anything hanging off the back end is going to help you out. So let's start it up and run through the motions. It's also great for grabbing oddly shaped things like this old tree trunk and root. Now, as I've said, the grapple adds tremendous functionality to your front end loader. So much so that you may be overconfident about how much your tractor can do. So be very careful. Make sure that when you pick items up, especially long, heavy items, that they're balanced. If you watched my video number 30, Two. you'll see that I actually bent my loader frame and had to have it replaced. So be careful. Uh, the grapple adds a lot more versatility and um, it can actually damage your tractor if you're not careful. Let me just correct that. The grapple can't damage your tractor. You can if you overdo it and you expect too much of your tractor. So that's just a basic overview of one of my favorite loader attachments, the grapple. I really appreciate you joining me today. Remember, if you like the video, please hit the like button, tap subscribe, click that little notification bell and make it turn gray so you'll know when I put out my next video. And I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Until then, I'll see you next time. Fun fact, the word tractor comes from the Latin term T-R-A-H-E-R-E. -E. I don't know if it's trahere, trahere, not sure. But it means something that pulls or to pull something. So there's my traher. <laughs>